Much with the basic renegade row, there's a lot of variations we can do off of this movement, but it's primarily a core exercise. There's two keys that's got to happen to make this movement happen the right way. And one of them is wide feet. The other one is whatever arm you're going to be doing the row with, the opposite arm has got to be pushing into the kettlebell. You can't just hold yourself up and expect yourself to stay up there. You actually got to physically push as if you were doing a push up into the kettlebell. So push up position, butt flat. Abs are tight, just like they would be if somebody's hitting your stomach or, uh, or you're in a TRX position. I'm gonna push down with this arm, hold it with my core, pull it up right to the rib cage, lower it down slowly, and then we're gonna repeat the other side. Notice I've gotta push with this arm, pull up, lower it down, repeat. You gotta do that very slow and controlled, and you can't really see how hard that I'm pushing with this opposite arm to hold myself up. I mean, you're really gonna have to extend that shoulder Got to make sure the wide, the legs are wide. When you get a little more advanced, you can add in a push-up variation. Now, if you need a modification, there's several different things you can do. You can go lighter weight, obviously. I usually recommend girls to start on 18s, guys to start on the 26s, and to go from there as you build that core strength up. Another movement you can do is just the plank up and down as a variation for that movement to build that core strength up.